this is Nigel Raby again here in Glasgow and I'm going to show you how you can use Osirix to add some content on top of images should you want to again I would use this particularly in constructing museum type cases the uh, thing we need to fully understand is that the key uh, area we want is plugins. If you highlight plugins at the top and scroll to database, you will see this gives you an option to convert PDF files to DICOM and JPEGs to DICOM. And as a Cyrix reads DICOM only, we need to use this facility. So you can see any text or other information we are going to add has to either be in PDF or JPEG format initially. So for this, my experience is only using Microsoft Office for Mac. I'm not sure whether the Mac equivalents would work. I presume they would. Uh, but if I want to take a file a, with written text to add to my museum case, First thing I need to do is to convert the Word file to a PDF file so that it can be utilized. I have a Word file here. This is irrelevant to the case. It's merely an example. So I open the Word file. There's my text and it's laid out in the format we use for our museum cases, which gives you radiological findings, differential diagnosis, and additional teaching information but of course it can contain anything that you want but what you have to do to make it usable by Osirix as I said earlier is to convert this a PDF file and simply one goes to the file then save as your case appears where do I want to save it into my memory stick format and that says PDF I like PDF and save and you can see this is in my memory stick that I now have got both a doc extension version Word document and now a PDF file. You'll also see and I'll refer to this later on I've got some JPEG files and I've got another PDF file which I'll talk about. However we can close that down now. So to <coughs> add that information to a case highlight case that you want within whichever database you want then go to plugin database and we're converting a PDF to DICOM find where it is in this case it's within my memory stick here is the PDF file case 1002 which we just created click on open and you will see that that now appears Sometimes it automatically inserts it into the case you want, sometimes it puts it adjacent to it. But again, as we did with uh, multiple image files, all we have to do is merge those two. So if we use the shift and left click to highlight both of them, right click to bring up the submenu and scroll to merge selected studies, say OK. And you will see that we now have a series of images within which there is also a text file. So I can go to here and just bring that up. I can zoom this up if it's not already the right size. Usually it's better than that. And you can see I now have a scrollable text file which will tell me about the case the history, what it is I should be looking for, and then some teaching notes. So that's how to take a text word file and add. We can do the same, highlight the case, go to plugins, go to database. This time let's take some JPEGs, JPEG to DICOM, navigate to Pendrive, then I'll highlight these pictures. These are histology pictures. I can take all three together. Click on open. Same thing again. This three series has been put in under case. Left click, shift, highlights both of them. Right click allows us to scroll to merge, merge studies, 
okay, and you can see we now have some histology. So if this was a relevant case, oops, we could uh, look at histology. And of course, any JPEG file format can be added in the same way. Uh, the last thing I find quite useful is the fact that you can take a PowerPoint file and there's a facility within PowerPoint to do the same thing, save as a PDF. So you can convert a PowerPoint presentation into a PDF file. And we've already done this. Again, it's a completely irrelevant presentation to the images. It's just an example. That'd be a PDF file. Navigate to my pen drive. Find this Oncocytoma PDF file. This was a PowerPoint presentation. Simply save using the PDF option. Open. That one, for some reason, has popped straight in without any need to merge it. And that happens from time to time, and I don't know quite what the rules are. However, if I click on that, then I have a PowerPoint-type presentation saved as a PDF file. And obviously, if that was relevant to the case, you could have it up beside an image so that you could look at the images and uh, look at the uh, PDF file at the same time. So those are examples of additional material that you can add. I would stress using the plugins facility, you can use PDF or JPEG files. So anything you can convert to either of those can be utilized. And it does require currently Microsoft Office for Mac installed on your Mac to be able to do this. Have fun.